What sounds better than a good cause and cold beer at the same time? That is the scene at Brewmaster's Tap Room down in Renton, where they just earned an award for their inclusive hiring practices. Here to tell us more is Marley Rawl. What's the award? Uh, we have won the award uh, for Employer of the Year for King County with Vadis, which is a nonprofit that is based out of Sumner, but they help adults with disabilities find uh, gainful employment in our community. That is so cool. And you've embraced that idea. They came to you actually before you opened, yes. correct? Yes. Yes. And you said, yeah, why not? What was what were some of the considerations that went through your head? Um, I think I've always been somebody that feels like everybody deserves a chance and an opportunity. Yeah. And I've always kind of viewed it as if I have a opening and you fit that skill set, why shouldn't we be together? Why not? And especially for people who may be vulnerable and trying to find employment, you've got something that people can do. Elliot and Debbie yes. are two of your employees yes. who come into this picture. Tell me about them. Uh, so Elliot was our first employee and it was awesome. We actually got to celebrate his 21st birthday. Yay! Could he have a beer? <laughs> uh, yes, he had a nice, wonderful <laughs> beer with us. But uh, it was he was a great employee. Um, I think he was definitely somebody that I'm going to remember for a while. I still talk to his mom. They moved to Atlanta at the end of last summer. Yeah. Um, and we still stay in touch. But he was a great employee for us. He was really into, these are my tasks. This is what I'm doing. And I think our community just embraced that. Um, because everybody has been touched by having somebody in their in their life that's had a disability and to be able to know that they're drinking beer is supporting making sure that that <laughs> that's about the best thing I've ever right? heard of I know, right I know. I'm that's doing I'm do. going down to this particular beer pub because yep. I can do good there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so tell me about Debbie. Uh, Debbie came to us uh, right after Elliot left. It was there was no question in my mind uh, when he gave his notice when they were moving that we were going to hire another employee um, because clearly a space had opened and there mm -hmm. was somebody that was going to have the skills for us. And so Debbie came in. We interviewed. Uh, I love her to death. She is a bit older than me um, and was a little bit grouchy when we first met, but we've definitely we worked through this. We worked through it. We've worked through it. That's good. That's good. <laughs> but she's become a, a, a staple for us as well. So what do you think the workplace gains? Because obviously people come in, they see everybody who's working someplace, and when they see people who have different abilities or mm -hmm. whose disabilities don't mean they don't have abilities Correct. to be taken care of, what, what does that inspire, do you think? Uh, I, you know, I think in general, our tap room is about helping our community understand that they can support everybody in our community. And it can be as simple as hiring somebody, and it can be as crazy as when we do our monthly fundraisers and we do auctions and we have people getting on tables and making speeches about how <laughs> everybody's helped them. Uh, but our community, I think the biggest thing is just normalizing it for people yeah, to understand that respectful. yeah you don't you know this isn't something that needs to be put in the corn this is something that is a they're people that are a part of our society just like everybody else right. and that's kind of what it's about for yeah, us we could all just open up just yep. a little bit that would be so helpful now you brought beer today I so did. i think it's important that we get to it we definitely what have you, to. <laughs> what have you brought uh the first beer i'm going to share with you um we actually brewed a super special beer for our event with vadis when they presented us with the award and in the theme of always making sure everybody in our community is in the, on the same page mm -hmm. um, and making sure even our younger generation is getting involved. I invited one of my dear friends, uh, Aaron Gibbs. He was the uh, head brewmaster at Airways Brewing in Kent. And we had his daughter come in, Hazel, who's absolutely adorable. And I'm sure you'll see a picture at some point of her um, with me. She helped uh, to brew the beer and she helped to uh, receive the award. That's amazing. But it was pretty adorable. I asked her, we were fruiting the beer, and I said, pick out two beers, to which her dad said she can't read yet, Marley. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure why you're handing her this, uh, but she actually picked out grapes and she picked out pineapple, which I love because her father is deathly allergic to pineapple. Oh dear. Uh, and we had a really fun day where she got to crush the grapes and we cut up the pineapple. She got to put everything in the beer. So I figured we'd give that one a try so you could see uh, what everybody got to enjoy that is night. Is that this one? That is that beer. All right, yeah. I'm going to let you do your thing <laughs> here. How do you properly pour a beer? Well, uh, let's see, it let's depends, see a professional right? do it. We'll tell ourselves that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think, wow, that's an interesting looking beer. Yep, so this is definitely in the style of a New England IPA. Yeah. So um, a lot of people like to call it a gateway IPA. A gateway IPA. Uh, <laughs> because we're known in the Pacific Northwest for doing really over hop beers. 
and mm. it's really hard for a lot of people to drink that, you know, right off the bat. So these this ones are really nice. Really nice, fruity, kind of mm -hmm. delicate. Yep. Even so, if you don't think you like beer, you yes. might like this. Yes, you might. Yeah. So it's a lot of late edition hops, so it gives you a lot of the aroma. It's a lot of floral, citrusy, a lot smoother than regular IPAs that most people know Washington State for. So uh, we kind of want to make a beer that was really good that everybody could enjoy. That it, you know, this is wonderful. You have a wonderful business. Thank you. you. Made a great, great contribution. I think the award was well deserved, and it helps to inspire other other people. We hope. Um, and beyond that, you guys do community events as well. I mean, we you do. mentioned some of those, yes. but talk to me a little bit about how you do those. Sure. So we pick out, uh, we try to pick out hyper local kind of um, organizations to work with. So we did literally last month. We had an event with uh, Deschutes Brewing out of Bend, Oregon, where we did a. Uh, GED test mm -hmm. as well. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And a spelling bee. <laughs> and so we invited everybody to come in. We brought some special beers in from Deschutes. We donated a portion of everything we sold that night to the Renton Academy and their fundraiser was we're halfway through the year. We're all the way through our school supplies. Oh dear. Uh, and we were able with Deschutes to raise um, $850 for them. Plus we had a literal truckload of school supplies for them. That's amazing. Yeah. And it was, it was pretty enjoyable seeing people not be able to spell very simple words yeah. after <laughs> drinking for a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> the degree of difficulty starts to yeah, go up. Yeah. Thank you very much of and course. congratulations. Thank you. It's a wonderful thing that you're doing. Up next, we're going to meet the creative minds behind a play that's tackling issues of gender roles and identity. We'll talk with them right after a quick break.